Hello and welcome to this video where we will show you how to add the council tax service to your Runnymede One account. Before we begin, you will need to ensure that you have registered for a One account and have your council tax account reference number to hand. Once logged into your One account, navigate to the section called Council Tax and click on Access Council Tax Online. You will then be prompted to authorise the Northgate application access to your account details. Northgate, which is also known as NEC, is the application that we hold your council tax account details on, and this question is essentially asking you to confirm that you are happy to link your council tax details to your one account. If you click allow, you will be able to progress. However, should you click reject, you will be informed that you can't continue to add the service. In this instance, we're going to click allow. We are now presented with the Council Tax Options page, which is the home page for Council Tax Online Services. Various tasks can be undertaken here, even though we have not yet linked the Council Tax account. This currently includes the ability to sign up for a direct debit, search for the Council Tax band of a property, and upload documents that you may have been asked to supply. More services will be added to the Council Tax Options page over time. You will also see the link that says View Your Council Tax Online in the top right hand corner of the page. Clicking this will enable you to progress with adding your council tax account to your one account. Starting the registration, you will be able to choose to register as an organisation or as a person. Should you be registering as an organisation, you are required to enter the organisation name as shown on your council tax bill, as well as your council tax account reference number. Should you be registering as a person, you will need to enter your first name, last name and council tax account reference number. Please note that if we haven't been provided with your first name, we may have this recorded on our records as an initial. Your council tax account reference number can be found on your council tax bill. You may find that some of these fields have already been populated with information from your one account. If the details for your council tax account are different, please update these fields accordingly. Once you've entered the required information, click next. You are now required to answer two of the four security questions to verify that you are the account holder. Most customers answer the first two questions, these being the online key, which is located in the bottom corner of your bill, and the current postcode. Please note that the current postcode is the postcode of the property address that you pay council tax for, and not your contact address. Other possible questions you could answer include the last three digits of a telephone number we hold on record for you, and the last three digits of your bank account number should you currently pay by direct debit. After answering two of the four questions, you will be able to progress by clicking next. Should you encounter any issues at this stage and believe that you've answered the security questions correctly, please get in touch so that we can assist you. Now you will progress to the final registration screen. You'll need to enter the email address you wish to be associated with your online council tax service and we recommend that you keep this the same as the email you used to register for your one account. You also have the option to sign up for paperless billing. This is a free service and you will receive an email when a new bill is available to view online. Please note that applying for paperless billing means that no paper bills will be issued to your address in the post. Therefore, any other person who is also liable for the property will also need to register for paperless billing should they wish to view their council tax bill as well. It may be the case that they need to create their own one account for this. We are going to choose yes in this instance to sign up for paperless billing. The final question asks for you to agree with the terms and conditions which you can view by clicking on the link. Should you agree to the terms, tick the box and then click submit to finalise your registration. That's it. You've now added the council tax service to your one account. You will notice that the council tax options screen we saw earlier now displays more information which is specific to your account. Should you have other accounts that you are liable for, you should be able to access them from this screen as well. If you expect to see another account which is not shown, then please get in touch so that we can investigate this. Popular services on the right hand side is where you can go to view your bills and recovery notices, view payments and much more. Keep an eye on the Runnymede website for more helpful videos that we'll be creating to help you navigate the council tax service.